What's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try in this tutorial I'll be showing you a very easy way of how you can easily get uniform skin tones in your photos using Photoshop. So there are times where by the face is not matching with the rest of the body as a result of makeup and other factors like lighting. So in this tutorial you're going, you're going to be learning how you can easily match or even out skin tones to have the same and uniform skin color. And later on, I'll show you how you can easily create a shortcut or how you can create an action that is going to help you do that evening of skin tone and skin color with just a single click in Photoshop. So if at all you haven't hit the like button, simply hit the like button on this video. And don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you are not yet subscribed yet to this channel. So simply like the video and subscribe. So you can see this is the image before. You can see the hand is not the same as the face and uh, the shoulders and the chest of the model in this case and you can see this is what we're going to be achieving by the end of the of the tutorial and we are going to create the action remember as we are ending the tutorial let me first of all show you how this works and how you can do this so simply i'll delete this layer so that i can demonstrate for you how you can easily even out and create matching skin tones or skin color so we're going to come to the adjustments down here and simply come and select gradient map. So select gradient map is going to apply any color. So don't mind about the color which is displayed right here. Our emphasis is going to be right here and later on we're going to be perfecting there. So after you have applied gradient map, simply come to this visibility icon and simply switch it off by turning off the gradient layer right there. Select the gradient icon right here and after selecting it, make sure the icon is selected and not the layer mask. So simply select the gradient icon. So left click right here where you see the color and it's going to open up the gradient editor. And as soon as it opens up this gradient editor right here, what we are going to do, we are going to come and make sure sample size is set to 5x5. Five five. The reason for this is because we want to sample colors from the face area. But as you are sampling, you want the sample to be precise and to be as accurate enough as possible. So you can see that we have these pointers right here or these stops right here. So simply left click on the left hand pointer right here and this is going to represent the darkest point of the skin tone. And the right one is going to represent the brightest colors within the skin tones or skin color. So simply left click on this left hand side pointer and simply after clicking on it, it is going to activate the color option. Left click on the color option and it is going to open up the color picker. So like I said, this left hand pointer is for the darkest color of the skin tone. So click on the darkest color of the skin tone. So you left click and you can see it has chosen that color of the skin tone in that area. So hit OK. Then also left click on the brightest pointer. Then left click on the color option and click on the brightest point of the skin tone which is around the nose area and hit OK. Then click in the middle and simply set the location to 50. So just type in 50 so this can be in the middle. So left click on the color option and simply left click on a mid any mid-tone color that you feel like. A color that is representing the mid-tones or the mid-tone color and hit OK. So you can see that this represents or it is displaying the colors as shown in the face area. So it is with these colors that we want to paint onto the rest of the body. And in this way, we are going to be matching the face to have the same color with these other unmatched colors of the model skin. So hit OK. And now just come and activate this layer right here. And come and change the blend mode from normal. And change it all the way down to color. And after doing that, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to come and simply select the gradient layer this time around and simply press Ctrl I on the keyboard or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect. And by doing that, simply come and get the normal brush tool. So with the brush tool selected, make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. You can left click on the tiny boxes right here to reset to black and white or you can press D on the keyboard to set it to black and white. So make sure white is the foreground color because you want to paint using a white brush to reveal what was hidden behind the black mask. So just come 
and get the normal brush tool make sure the settings that is at zero and it is a soft round brush so pass that and flat hundred percent you can increase on the size of the brush and simply with the brush tool you can now come and paint on the area you feel is not uniform with the face and you can paint just like that using the brush tool so just paint and you can see by just doing this you're going to be having even skin color or skin tones for your model so just paint just like that so just take your time as you're trying to uh, do the painting process and you can see just like that we are going to be having even skin color so to be precise you can now zoom into the photo and now eliminate the extras by switching the brush back to black reduce on the size and you can now paint away and delete the extras just like that just simply done and executed so if at all you want to create a shortcut or an action so that you don't go through the hassle so you can say before after before after and if at all it is too much you can come and reduce on the opacity to the one of your liking so this is the before after so i'm just going to delete this so i want to show you how you can create a shortcut for this so in order to create an action or a shortcut for this kind of process simply come right here first of all to window and make sure you have selected actions and after selecting action it is going to open up the action window and first of all to create an action put it in a set or a folder so we're going to name that to even color even color just like that and just come and hit ok and after creating a folder simply come to the plus icon left click and can name the action to even color action action just like that then after doing that simply you can even change the set from here and change where you want the action to be regarding the existing folders so you can as well assign a shortcut for your action and you can assign a color for your action so i'll just choose orange and simply hit record now the action has started or is being recorded right now if at all you see this red recording icon so you, we are going to do the same process just come here to gradient map select the icon hide this layer click there and now click here on the darkest color left click once again then click on the darkest point of the skin tone hit ok click here click on the color option so we are left clicking click on the brightest point hit ok click in the middle type the location to 50 and now left click on the color option then click on the mid tones and hit ok and just come and hit ok so just like that and after doing that you can now come and you can even invert this effect if at all you want to but for recording the action i wouldn't recommend you to invert this right here so just stop the action at this point so i'm just going to come and i simply hit the stop icon to stop recording the action so after doing that we just want to see if the action is going to work for us so i'm just going to delete this and just come to the action right here and hit play and you can see it has just done this for us so what will be left if at all you want to color grade a different image you can come and customize it after playing it to just copy or change the skin tone if at all you're dealing with a different person but for this case after this is selected just come and select the layer mask and now activate this change the blend mode from normal to color just like that press ctrl i and just go ahead and get the brush tool switch to black to white rather and paint just like that and you can see this is going to color grade and even out the skin tones just like that so i'm just basically doing a rough job here but if at all you want to change the effect after applying it you can now come double click right here and you can simply left click on the color and you can single click on the color that you want to change and you can switch it to whatever color that you want just like that so if at all you're dealing with a different skin tone you can now change it from this first step by just using this and sampling from that different image that you want to work on so this is how you can even out skin tones or skin color using 
uh, Photoshop. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.